In this video, I'm going to show you how to view the critical path in Microsoft Project. Stick until the end because I'm revealing my secret tip that will save you hours to manage your project's critical path. If you'd like to master how to use Microsoft Project, then you can download my free guide to go from beginner to pro at alvinthepm.com forward slash project guide. But first, let's define the critical path. As someone who has managed dozens of projects over my career as an engineer and project manager, this is the most important thing to track if you want your project done on time. It's very important if you want to impress your manager, get that promotion and get that bling bling, that money. Cause without that money, you ain't got no honey. <laughs> Joking aside, let's get serious here. Your critical path is the longest sequence of tasks that must be completed on time. If you want your entire project to be done on schedule, so it's the shortest amount of time that the project can be completed in. So if you have a five day delay on a task that's on your critical path, that turns into a five day delay on your overall project. Did you catch that? Don't let it sneak up on you because it has a tendency to do that. Any delay on your critical path tasks will delay your entire project and your project's finish date. So you should monitor every critical path task like your life depends on it. On my screen, we'll use the sample project that I created in Microsoft Project for building a DIY doghouse. It's divided into six phases, initiation, design, material preparation, construction, testing, and finishing. One thing to note, I'm currently in Gantt chart mode and entry view. To switch to my view, move your mouse to the leftmost panel, right click and select Gantt chart. Then move your mouse to the box icon at the very top left, right click it and choose entry. Pro tip from me, to make sure your critical path shows up correctly for your project, every task on your project should have at least one successor, except for the very last task. That way, all your tasks link up correctly with the right dependencies. And another pro tip, don't link predecessors or successors to your summary level tasks. Instead, stick to linking your dependencies at the task level. I'm warning you in advance because if you don't set up your dependencies correctly, Microsoft Project may incorrectly calculate your critical path. Trust me, learn from my mistakes. I've wasted hours of my time because my dependencies weren't linked correctly. This would have saved me so much headache, frustration, and hours of my time because I was managing a project with more than 100 line items. Oh, and one more thing, to make sure your critical path shows up correctly, you must verify one setting in your software. Move your mouse to the top panel, click on file, and at the very bottom, select options. In this new pop-up window for project options, click on advanced on the left-hand side, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see a line that says this, tasks are critical, if slack is less than or equal to zero. Make sure that this number is zero so the software calculates your critical path correctly. If you're not familiar with it, slack is the amount of time that the task can be delayed without impacting a project's overall end date. A task on your critical path will have zero slack, meaning there really isn't any wiggle room or slack for it to get delayed without pushing back a project's finish date. That's the critical path in a nutshell. With that said, here is the easiest way to view your critical path. On the top ribbon, move your mouse to the top and select the tab for Gantt chart format. Inside the panel for bar styles, check mark the box that says critical tasks. On the Gantt chart on your right side, you'll see bars appear color coded as red. These red bars represent your critical path. For our project, we see that the majority of our tasks are on the critical path it looks like the task for identifying materials is not on the critical path. And same thing for floor testing and wall testing. You'll see in our Gantt chart that our critical path starts from the very beginning of a project and ends at the very last task. That's because our critical path is the longest path in the project. To visualize how much slack each of our tasks have, let's switch our modes from entry mode to schedule view mode. Move your mouse to the top left box in the corner, right click and choose the option for schedule. Right away, we see that most of the tasks in our project are on the critical path because they have zero total float. If you look at the values on the column for total slack, 
the task for identifying materials has a total float of six days before it goes on the critical path, which is very helpful information to know. To only show a list of your critical path tasks, move your mouse to the view tab on your top ribbon. Then inside the data panel, move your mouse to the option where it says filter. Click on the drop down menu and choose the option that says critical. When you do that, only your critical path tasks will appear on your table and on your Gantt chart. It's kind of like magic. And this is the most helpful shortcut that I use to manage my projects. Now let's say that you don't want to see any of these summary level category tasks. You only want to see the tasks themselves. Here's how to do that. Move your mouse to the top ribbon panel and select the tab for Gantt chart format. In the panel for show hide, check mark the box for summary tasks so that it's unchecked. And voila, now our table only shows the critical path at the task level. Pretty impressive, right? Aren't you glad you're watching this video so you can learn these shortcuts faster? Now, if you'd like to go from beginner to pro with Microsoft Project, you can learn all of my best strategies by downloading my free guide at alvinthepm.com forward slash project guide. Now let's walk through an actual example in Microsoft Project. What happens if a task that's not on the critical path exceeds its available float? First, let's revert back to our previous settings so we can see the summary tasks. And we'll also go ahead and we'll remove the filter that is only showing the tasks on the critical path. With our settings back to the normal configuration in our project, let's say that the task for identifying materials takes longer than its available float of six days. Let's scroll to the right here so that we can play with this task duration. To do that, let's add a column here for duration. Currently, the task for identifying materials is planned to only take three days to complete that work. And if we look at the very last milestone, for our project completion, our project is currently planned to finish on April 7. So instead of having the task for identifying materials take only three days in duration, let's change it so it takes a much larger time duration of 15 days. When we make this change, this task automatically goes onto the critical path. The task itself turns red on the Gantt chart and the three tasks above it for draft design, expert design review, and finalized design are no longer on the project's overall critical path. And guess what? Our project's finish date has been pushed back to April 15. So as you can see here, your critical path is dynamic and Microsoft Project will recalculate it whenever you update your project's tasks. With this example, can you see how we use the critical path to manage the tasks that can possibly delay our project's finish date? Now, we're not done yet. The best is yet to come. If you've made it this far, then I have a free gift for you. Here is a trick I use to quickly and easily see which tasks are on the critical path. Select the Gantt chart format tab in the top ribbon. Then choose the button for text styles. In the first drop down menu for item to change, let's pick the option for critical tasks. I like to make my critical tasks just visually pop out in my table so it's easier for me to see them. Let's change the text color so it's red. To do that, move your mouse to the drop down menu for color and pick the dark red color. And voila, this one shortcut automatically color codes all of your critical path tasks with a red color so you can easily visualize which tasks are critical path and which ones are not critical path. This is a super helpful trick that saved me hours of my time every week when I'm reviewing multiple projects at once. If you wanna be 100% sure that a project is on the critical path, then you can add a column to your table to do just that. Click on add new column, scroll all the way down in the menu until you find and you can choose the option for critical. After you do that, you should now see a yes or no if a task is on the critical path. Now I want to hear from you. What is one area you're struggling with in Microsoft Project? Let me know down below and I'll possibly even make a future video answering your question. So join me in the comment section and I look forward to hearing from you. To learn how to track and update your project's progress in Microsoft Project, please watch this video next and I'll see you in the next video.